Good morning. As you can see, I am in quite a bit of mess here today. I'm about to clean the kitchen. It's Saturday. Dan's at, it's very windy and very sunny. It's a bit low down this camera, isn't it? Took it up so you can see the top of my head. It's very windy, very sunny, and we're gonna get rain on and off for most of the day. So Dan's just outside um, clearing the patio because he's got a new gadget. He has got an attachment for the um, pre the pressure the pressure hose the jet wash that's it the jet wash so he's got an attachment for that which allows him to clean the patio without it splatticating everywhere um, so he's very excited to try that out and our patio really really needs refreshing so he's just moving all of the pots and oddly an old toilet off of our patio now the reason we have an old toilet is when we did our bathroom I kept the old toilet because I have an idea that I want to mosaic it and turn it into like either a, a water feature or a planter but it's been sitting on the patio for two years he just has had a word with me about it and I insisted I would be doing it this summer so he's now having to move the toilet as well I am about to mash some bananas so I had some overripe bananas um, which I needed to use up and I've also got uh, an abundance of porridge oats. So I already had too many, you can't see, but I've got an extra packet of it on top of the, packet of them on top of the cupboard. And then my neighbor brought round some more. So we're just rolling in oats. <laughs> um, and I looked at a really simple recipe, which actually I'm, I'm already aware sounds too good to be true, but I'm gonna try it anyway. And it's basically just bananas, oats, cinnamon and water to make sort of healthy breakfast bars. Now I can already tell that banana and oats and water with a little bit of cinnamon are not going to be the tastiest thing. So I might add some maple syrup or something or some honey to sweeten it, but I'm going to give it a go. I've got enough oats to muck about with and not worry too much. And I'm sure we'll eat them with a cup of tea. I'll put the link underneath. It's from a website called Healthy Living James. But that's what I'm going to do now. And then after I've made that mess doing that, I am going to clean and tidy the kitchen because it desperately needs it. Some people have written books, some have a great look that covers the magazines for kids who are 17, but I don't know what to do. Staring into the blue sky and just waiting for a sign Some, they are certain of what awaits them when it all ends But I don't know what will happen to me Will I be remembered in a century? Or will I be forgotten like dust in the wind Or the talk of the town that we are living? having a cup of tea break Dan and I have just had one of the banana things actually so did Phoebe she came in and had one and everyone agrees they're really nice they're really they are they're nice aren't they they're lovely yeah, I yeah. had three actually perfect with a cup of tea I put um some we had some random chocolate in the fridge so I melted that to put on top for an extra bit of sweetness and I worked it out on my app and it works out that each square well if they were cut evenly each square would be about 70 so some of them 70 calories sorry so some of them will be a bit more and some of them will be a bit less. So I'm gonna have my cup of tea. God, the kitchen cleaning is taking me forever today. I haven't done it in ages. I also need to clean down all the fronts of the cupboards. This isn't focusing on my face. I have to come at extreme close up to get it to focus, which nobody wants. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna have my cup of tea and then get back to it. But I feel like I'm wading through treacle today and everything's just getting done really slowly. I look really tired. I was up at about half three, again, the wind. And then, um, but I did get back to sleep, which is good. Dan's cleaned the patio and it looks really, really good. And he's making noises about putting that sofa together. Why is it not focusing on my face? Your face is unfocusable. <laughs> so it's supposed to rain a bit later, but I think we'll be all right. It'd be nice to get it out of the living room. And I've been working on a little project which I'm hoping to finish today. Oh no, it's got a stain on it. How has that happened? Oh no, and now it's got chocolate on it. 
Might have to give this a little wipe. I'm not going to show you much more. Here is a little taster of what's to come, complete with a stain between his eyes. The talk of the town that we are living in Well, I don't know No, I don't I don't know I don't How could I know what lies ahead of me? Am I part of a grand Am I part of a plan? Will I be washed away like it lines in the sand? So the girls are just having lunch and then they're gonna go with Dan to the shops because they're all doing the up to something. No, we're going grocery shopping. It's Mother's Day tomorrow. We are not up for something, never mind, you will cut that out. <laughs> Back to the broadcast. Yeah, let me get a bit closer whilst I get my trainers on. So they're going to the shops. I'm gonna take the opportunity while the house is empty. So Phoebe keeps moving the camera and I keep having to cut an edit in my head to figure out what I was saying. So they're going to the shops with Dan and I'm going to take the opportunity to do the thing that I really, really do. In fact, if I had to make a list right now of things that I didn't want to do, number one would be exercise. <laughs> but I'm going to do it anyway because you always feel better afterwards. You never regret doing exercise. Well, you might regret it if you... I don't know, fell over and onto something sharp or pulled a muscle or something. But hopefully that won't happen. I've also been uh, organising my pins. Thank you if you ordered a pin, by the way. I, I woke up to a little flurry of orders for my new smooth pins. Um, I've just been quality checking them whilst listening to an audiobook. I've been listening today to um, No Shame by uh, Tom... I was going to say Tom Holland. Tom Jones. No, not Tom, Tom Jones. Jones. So many Toms. Um, oh my God. Tom Allen, that's it. No Shame by Tom Allen. Tom so I've been Allen. listening to that whilst I've been getting pins ready. So I'm hoping that I can then go to the post office on Monday and post all the orders that have come in over the weekend. The sofa is up and it's looking fabulous. Oh no, and it looks like it's about to rain. So I'm just going to go and oh throw no, a cover no, over it. <laughs> this is what happens when we do something nice in the garden. It's not raining, it's hailing. <laughs> we've had to quickly cover it up. It is waterproof, but just to be sure, we've put some plastic over it. Oh, that was quite a workout. Um, I, I will put the link to the one that I did underneath, state of my hair. <laughs> it was, um, can't wait for the hairdressers to open in April. Um, it was one of PJ, uh, Fitness with PJ, uh, who I really enjoy. I think she's Canadian. I'm sure she said she was in somewhere in Canada. Um, yeah, I think she is Canadian. And she's absolutely lovely. She does workouts specifically for over 40s. Um, and I really enjoy them. And I did one of her sort of high calorie burning ones today. And I really enjoyed it. It was good. I'm glad that I did it, even though I didn't want to. So now um, Dan and the girls are still out of the shop. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time crocheting on my creature. Uh, before attacking the hoovering. Remembered in a century, or will I be forgotten like dust in the wind, or the talk of the town that we are living in? Well, I don't know. My little Octo friend is finished. <laughs> this is um, Rail of the Dabbling Hooks' uh, new uh, Octo pattern. She's got two now. 
and this one's got an elongated head and I love him so much. He needs to have his facial expressions embroidered on. I've still got to do that. And somehow, whenever I look at him, now that he's finished, I feel like he needs a crown. Like he's the king of the octopuses. So I might have to fiddle about and make him his own little sea crown. <laughs> He's my little king octopus and uh, he's not quite finished but I'm really pleased with him. I might make another one, a little friend for him. So I'm gonna go and get changed into my comfies. We're having veggie burgers tonight. There's a beautiful sunset going on out there so I'm gonna film that as well. I've got a, uh, The song of the day I think is gonna be over to Phoebe. Not Phoebe, Lilia. I thought it was Phoebe who'd been going on about this song but it wasn't, it was Lilia. What song have you had stuck in your head that you think the song of the days should be today? Fix You by Coldplay. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Fix You by Coldplay, which always makes me think of Gavin and Stacey. And if you watch Gavin and Stacey, you'll know why. <laughs> so that is the song of the day. I'll add it to the Spotify playlist and I hope you enjoy it. I don't know what will happen to me Will I be remembered in this century Or will I be forgotten like dust in the wind Or the talk of the town that we are, that we are living in I don't know what will happen to me Will I be remembered in this century Or will I be forgotten like dust in the wind Or the talk of the town that we are living in I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. 